After I discovered Deputy District Attorney Audra Bierman was consulting with Eileen Canfer on how to kill my father and how to put me in prison, I was told I should speak to a character named Kenneth Applebaum. I call him a character because of a five-minute conversation I had with him, but also this guy's reputation precedes him, and I'm about to show you why. I don't have the date on this, but it's from May 2021. So you can see this isn't something where a guy can look back and say, okay, I was this kind of person, but I've changed my ways. I mean, this guy is a serious problem, and he's a deputy district attorney in Queens County. I just cut out the headlines from the grievance, but if you read them, you don't need to read the body of the complaint. It's really one breach of ethics after the next. You don't have to read the fine print here. It says, for his misconduct, Applebaum should be disbarred. You can't sugarcoat this conclusion. People in authority, whether it's attorney Joseph Rosenberg, whether it was the prosecutor Applebaum or the detective Lewis and Kahn, is that the facts don't matter. I think they're arrogant enough. They'll say whatever they want to say. They're not looking for the truth. They're looking to discredit me in any way they can. And I understand that. But I'm going to still call, send emails, post on YouTube, post on TikTok, and we'll see what happens. I know this background's really going to piss off Applebaum, but I'm pissed off that my father was murdered, so I think he got the better end of the bargain. And there's a record of the phone call, December 1st, 11.32 a.m., and it was for five minutes, a memorable five minutes. Now, my complaint upon everything else was that Eileen Canfer kept calling the police on me. First thing he said to me was, I know the police were getting called up there all the time, so he was actually using the fact that the police were up here against me. Eileen Kanfer calls 911, says Harrison Silver stole a gun, a complete lie. So you're taking something which occurred and you're twisting it in a way that makes me look like the bad guy. Then he said to me, I know you've been speaking to Laura Woods. It's December 1st, 2021. My father died on July 19th, 21. We're not speaking with each other. In fact, she's a big part of the problem. For two years, I asked for help, and none was received. In fact, she also enabled Eileen Canfer. When a report a problem and nothing happens, you're encouraging someone to continue their illegal behavior. Then he said, well, Audra Bierman doesn't know Eileen Canfer, which is a bunch of BS, and I don't even want to go into this, so I want to move on to some of the other comments he made. I told him my father was drugged to death. Kenneth Applebaum, deputy district attorney, said to me, maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, you almost have to digest this and think about it. Imagine that being a response from a defendant speaking to a prosecutor, if I would have said that. And when I told him I have evidence, his answer was, Silence. Well, that is an answer. So this phone conversation was very meaningful because it told me the corruption, at least, is above Audra Bierman, which wasn't surprising. Imagine this headline. It's incredible. And we know the answer. 